Welcome to Modern Hackers. Please subscribe and do not forget to like the video if you have enjoyed. Hello for everybody. This Rebel Corredo build has finally completed. This video is showing you all details how it went through from the beginning, including the surface fixtures. I have detailed the surface challenges in the unboxing video. In the reality, it was not much better. So, if you can see, I had to sand down all parts of the body. I cut out the bonnet because I, I have built the open version of the Corrado. Later on in other snapshot you will see how I printed an engine to it. So if you can see that uh, I also had to apply some putty, some surface fixtures on this because the molding was not equal. There were some ups and downs and bumpy areas. I had to also tighten the panel lines. Believe or not, after I have applied this, it became a real shape without seeing these major details. I have downloaded some interesting uh, parts like a VR6 engine, wheels, rims, also uh, brakes. I printed with Anycubic Photomono 6KS printer. It came out pretty well compared to the original kit also printed a steering wheel a sports steering wheel for Volkswagen a front panel also a mask panel which gives much better optics some background to the lamp VR6 engine including the direct air filter a better wheel because originally what was in the kit it did not have a detailed break in it Due to the VR6 engine and the intake, I had to cut out uh, the built-in molded air filter. I had to use a high viscosity putty because the hole was very tight. So first I applied the rubber. After it's cured, after I used the Mr. Hobby low viscosity putty, and then it's, it's gave a smooth surface after sanding. I have printed this VR6 engine and I have attached the built-in original V4 gearbox as a solution. Pretty much it was fitted into the engine place. We are a little lower the engine. the 3D printed brakes uh, on the top of the built-in wheelbase is pretty much fitted. Also the wheel fitted did not have any overhang. The only thing to mention that I had to cut out the brake calipers. This was the only way to fix. I a little bit lower the brake calipers to fit for this size of wheel because this 3D printed wheel is exactly the same size like the original one was given by the Rebel. Everything fit together. I was surprised that how the 3D printed parts well fitted to the original frame. I was careful with the windows that is why I use the masking tape when I cut out the windows. The bonnet also started fitting. Challenging part was inside the engine with exhaust pipes. I 
usually priming each part. So, so the chest is the main part with the uh, Mr. Hobby 1500 surface a primer, few layers until all scratch is going away, pretty much giving a smooth equal surface. Also the parts are primed with the same surface. I typically use the grey surface primer especially it's good for the white or black parts sometimes challenging on the grey parts but in that case you can use other color of primer if you priming the 3D printed parts you need to put more uh, thick layers to that because compensating the 3D printing challenges but if you have a great 3D printer like a 6K or higher than that or 8 or 12K you won't see some challenges before the painting you should mix the paint there are some beautiful mixers electric mixers as well you need to paint thin layers first not for one round everything, just multiple layers. Don't forget you will also later varnish it. Usually put roughly three la layers of paint. One side of the car, other side of the car. And finally the top. After paint rounds and curing time, usually good to go through the paint, check the quality, sanding, also paint the small parts. The engine area also needs to be painted with the same color red, so I had to mask out the wheels, the 3D printed wheels, I painted for flat black including the vipers as well. This flat black Mr. Color paint giving kind of uh, rubber type material feeling. I have painted the interiors also with flat black I was using Mr. Hobby chrome silver paint and which I want to paint as silver I use uh, without uh, black preparation but I want to be really chrome type of look and feel I put a black layer in between so like the wheels got uh, after the primer uh, a glossy black paint and only after the glossy black paint I started applying the, the chrome silver paint and then then the wheel became chromic but the engine became silver this is now varnish with varnishing you need to be careful that first you just make a thin layer, few thin layers first, curing and only the thin layers cure only after start applying thick layers to be equal surface because the last surface will get quickly the dust so you need to be careful that you just make it quickly and you use proper percentage of uh, Mr. Color leveling thinner and for example this Mr. Color varnish so it's forgiving you can use 50-50 percentage you can adjust to your airbrush you can adjust to your 
air conditions, humidity, how you paint and what temperature you paint. You need to carefully monitor that uh, it's really thinning out on the surface. The, the brakes are painted with uh, simple acrylic silver. Sanding down with 3000 grit paper with some water to smooth the surface. This is a kind of preparation before the polishing process, so you need to make sure the surface is flat, but you should not over sanding because you can remove the varnish, you can damage the paint, so you need to carefully and find the balance and level how deep you can go down, but typically if you have applied uh, three, four or five layers of uh, varnish, you know that uh, you have enough surface to go down and flatten, but if you made the ratio good, then you have a really, really small job for sanding here. For polishing, you need to start with a kind of a raw approach. I use 3M polisher compound. This is the white one. I went through the surface two times. For the first time, don't worry, it won't be smooth. Second time, it should be smooth. After the polishing compound is really removed, it's getting smooth mostly removing the scratches but for a second round you should go with a more smooth polisher head uh, I used also 3M but uh, it's a hologram remover and it's completely removing the small scratches also and give a shiny surface at the end don't forget that you should move continuously your polisher, otherwise it's killing the varnish, killing the paint, heating up the paint. So you need to be careful and monitor the temperature, how you're doing. After it's varnished, you have some parts to mask out with these lines, panel lines, the front grill kind of uh, plastic materials, paint with flat black, also the windows panel lines, I usually do together the door openers. You need to be careful to wait some time between uh, the varnish uh, cure time and this masking time, this quickly can mess up the paint if you don't wait enough time and you're masking too early the material. For the engine I have applied some cabling. These cables came from Hyrobi. It's uh, thin enough to simulate spark cables, electrical cables. Typically apply in this stage only acrylic paints, not to harm the original lacquer paint. It's pretty forgiving. So at finishing these uh, acrylic paints, pretty doing the job well. You can detail the specific small pieces. can use either Vallejo, either Italeri, either Rebel paints or similar, what, what's very similar for you. But the goal is that you should be able to thin back, you should be able to remove if the paint overrun. And as of course you need to wait first, the locker paint has cured and only after do this. If 
you apply the decals, it's always good to make earlier a scan about the decals that you are applying. If something goes wrong, you had a scan, you have scanned in to your computer, and if needs to be, you can reproduce. But anyway, don't forget, if you need a decal, you can contact the manufacturer who can send you a decal with a specific price tag. But I always take a, a scan anytime I need to reproduce any decal. It's just in case useful. the decals I always applying some decal softener like uh, uh, Reva's decal softener is doing the job pretty well but you should not put too much should not wait too long you put it and uh, then after you go again on the surface after a few minutes after the decal soften in this particular model the window had to be adjusted with this additional panel line on the bottom also the top just say I have painted with grey, the back lamps painted with silver, the back panel of the lamps, the inner front grille it's a 3D printed one and it has an inner surface. I have painted with Molotov fancy paint, this chromic silver color, the VR6 logo is also available. This kit did not have a mirror sticker, so you had to paint it to your own. The lamps, the fog lamps. Painting the inner side of the rear lamps. I'm using AK colors, AK colors on that. And also there is a small crossing between the lamp areas. I painted on the post to be realistic as much as possible. Unfortunately, the windows from the factory not fully clear so you had to a little bit clean this out but fitting point of view the kit was fitted almost good I did not have any fitting issues the bumpers looks nice just Reminding that this VR6 engine requires to lower the engine a little bit to be able to close the hood. And the radiator had to be a little bit thinned down to fit everything correctly <laughs> like a real VR6 swap. The hood also had to be a little bit sanded down and put some rubbers underneath to fit properly not to move along. I hope after seeing this video you will have appetite to build this kit because you can see demonstrated it's buildable it's not as a disaster as we expected if you apply proper primer, proper paint, proper sanding time preparations maybe some 3D printed elements you can make a wonderful job spend some time also for the detailing 
weathering and it's a decent looking kit to me. After building this kit I don't see any major difference feeling point of view with another kit. The only thing that the left and right windows are cut out by factory because maybe Rebel just remade this after a Cabrio one. All in all I'm satisfied with the results, it's a good looking thing. You definitely should build this. I'm recommending to you. It reminded me good memories. I really loved it to make it. It was a whole journey. And it's looking nice in my stash and also in outside photos. So you should not worry how to build this. You have now all in hand build video also. See you. Thank you for watching Modern Hackers. Please do not forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you have enjoyed.